So, Abigail, we're each going to draw five cards. One for you, one for me, one for you. Five. All right. Five. All right, you got your five. Late morning is the perfect time for a card game on the Portland State campus. And you need to read the words but and so with your story. At the Center for Entrepreneurship, student Adam Stockman shares the game he created with advisor Abigail Van Gelder. He never had a calling, but knew how to save some money. So he lived with his parents until he was 40. I'm going to say Fib on the middle one. <laughs> I called the game Fib, a game for liars and thieves. With Fib, Adam is now a finalist competing against 25 other college teams at a festival for entrepreneurs in Minneapolis. There's a chance to win the top prize of $50,000. Just three years ago, Adam was managing a pizza shop. You know what I got really good at? This. I could spin the dough on my hand, I could toss it back and forth. While tossing dough, he was listening to podcasts about business. After a weekend of fun playing card games with friends, he took lessons to structure his own game. Set up, but obstacle, so resolution. And the concept for his game Fib became his journey. And you tell a story, you know, we camped illegally, but... I was caught, so I'm not allowed back. When he played with friends, they learned the game fast and played for a long time. That's good, but the best part was they laughed a lot. People were asking to play it, and when they played it, they were having a great time, and it just was taking off. From the original idea, it took two weeks to have his first prototype and printed cards. Then the card display came together, and the rules were refined. And, of course, there's the pitch. Hi, my name is Adam, and I'm the founder of Fib Game. We've updated the cardholder design. The card game market is a nearly $1 billion market. Abigail advised Adam to enter the Schultz Entrepreneurship Challenge. E-Fest is that perfect opportunity because this is not only a chance to get some funding, but also to hone their pitch and presentation skills. To get the game out there, Adam has made it available to print and play free with your email address. An exchange. I need people to follow me to the Kickstarter. No matter what's in the cards for the future, Adam believes he's already dealt a winning hand. Players having fun with the game, that's really what my business is. That's what it's all about. We're bringing connection, fun, and creativity to people at scale, and I think that's still pretty special, and so I think we're going to do pretty good. I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.